Okay, here we have a function, and this is a rational function uh, because we have x's in the denominator, basically. So we're supposed to try and figure out how to find the domain and the vertical asymptotes of this function. So I'm going to go ahead and write out a space here so we know what we're supposed to be finding. Domain and then vertical asymptote. I'm just going to abbreviate that as VA for vertical asymptote. Okay, first things first, we're going to go through and find the domain. Because this is rational, we're going to set the denominator equal to zero, and that means x equals two is a whole in the domain. So if I were going to write this using set builder notation, this would be the set of all x's such that x cannot be a two. Okay, now we need to talk about the vertical asymptotes. This hole in the domain is our possibility for a vertical asymptote. Now that is if this function is in lowest terms. So looking at our original function, we cannot break 2 down any further, and the x minus 2 does not factor either. So because this will not reduce down any, this negative, this positive 2 is still a problem in this function. That means that it's not just a hole in the domain, it's actually a vertical asymptote. Now, this may be a little bit um, odd, so let's look at another one and we'll see if we can make it possibly a little bit more clear. Here we have another problem, another function, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find the domain and then also we're going to look at the vertical asymptote. Okay, so for our domain, we're going to take our denominator and set that equal to zero to find our holes. So that tells us that we have a problem if x is three, because three minus three would give us a zero denominator. So our domain would be the set of x's such that x cannot equal a three. That means that 3 is our potential asymptote. We have to, though, look at this function in lowest terms before we can decide that. So looking at the numerator here, we can factor a 2 out of the top. That would be 2 times x minus 3. For the denominator, we can't factor it any, so that's just x minus 3. But now because of that, we've got a common term on top and bottom. So this function reduces down, actually, to just f of x equals 2. Now we do not have a problem in the denominator anymore. We got rid of the problem. That means this is not a vertical asymptote. It was just simply a hole in the domain. This spot here at x equals 3, this is called a removable discontinuity. It's called a removable discontinuity because I could get rid of the problem by factoring and simplifying the rational expression. I could remove that discontinuous spot. And in fact, if I were to graph this, which uh, let's go ahead and graph that really quickly. I'm going to go to my y equals. I'm going to put the numerator in at, in parentheses, 2x minus 6, graphing that original problem, divided by x minus 3. And whenever I do a zoom 6, now we can see that that graph actually does look like y equals 2. That's because those are very, very similar. And we really can't even see that there's a problem here at 3. If I zoom in a little bit, though, zoom 4, now can you see that there's a little tiny hole right here where x is 3? The original function and f of x equals 2 are virtually identical in the way they appear. But they do have uh, this one problem because of the original function.